This is Gary the Herald, and this is my review of Orange Episode 13, the finale. Uh, Naho makes Valentine chocolate for Kakuru. Um, so she tries to catch up with Kakuru and misses him every time. Uh, we find out that Kakuru is avoiding her, and from the letter, she finds out that her last time, she's basically going to have to make a run for it. Uh, she accidentally bumps into a day of senpai again, and she notices that <clears throat> the chocolate that it's crushed, and Udea says she can't give them. But Naho stands up to her and says, no, I still can. And that's very out of character for her. Uh, she finally catches up to Kakuru and says, I will give to you what I have tomorrow, but he says he doesn't need it. Um, she tells him that she wants to at least talk to him and not have regrets. Nao asks if he was avoiding her and he says yes because he hurt her. Uh, she tells him uh, what her reply was in the letter that she didn't get hurt. Uh, she tells him that it was his fault but Kakuru says that he was weak and he was afraid to hurt her. He admits he enjoyed spending time with her but was running away. She tells him again that she wants to go out with him and that she wants to get him, get to know him better. Um, and she feels like she hasn't really got to know him really. Uh, she reminds him that um, if she had ever asked him out that he would agree to go out with her. Uh, Cocker gives every excuse not to go out with her. But she tells him that she wants to be with him no matter what. And that if she, if he is happy, she will be happy. Uh, he finally, they finally hug and he accepts her. We move on to the next scene and what happens is that we have a new dilemma. Based on the letters, uh, this is the point where Cocker will have his accident. So they decide they need to be out there and watch out for him. Uh, one suggestion was to break his bike, but they decide not to. Uh, the scene changes and they go into the future selves and they talk about their world and how the world they change will branch off from the other, but nothing will change in their world. But they are happy at least that Kakuru in the parallel world will be saved. And it's kind of a bittersweet moment. Um, in the present, we see that Kakuru sees the phone messages again and how it affects him the same. And everyone thinks that it won't happen again because they don't see Kakuru around this time that this happened. Um, but then they go to his house and he's not there. So everybody frantically goes to look for him and Kakuru looks like he's going to get hit by the truck but he doesn't and everyone finds out that he had the strength to not kill himself because he thought about all the people who he would leave. They finally admit that they all had letters from the future and they were trying to save him. Kakuru says it was his fault and Naho tells him it isn't but Sewa says yes it's his fault and he swears that if he dies he'll never forgive him. The funny thing is we find out that Kakura couldn't use his bike because Nagata broke his bike. Um, overall, uh, what is great about the series is the relationship between Nahu and Kakuru and how they finally get together and how all their friends are very supportive of each other and band together to save Kakuru. Also, there's the science fiction elements where the letters came from and bouncing between the future and the past and how they will save Kakuru. There were animation issues to the ridiculous level. Um, pretty much any time the animators thought you weren't paying attention, uh, they cut corners and had bad animation. But overall, the show was really interesting, and that's what kept people going back. Um, it had really great source material, and what's interesting is that they're going to have a movie come out that's going to be basically a sequel. And from the description, uh, Sua is going to be basically trying to help Naho and um, Kakuru in their relationship. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'm really forward to seeing that one. Um, overall, I gave this one another A- minus just because of the animation issues. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's really a great series. Um, so like always, comment below, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you next time.